If you're new to the e-commerce field and you want to understand what all the fuss is about, do not go anywhere because in this video, I'm going to teach you guys what dropshipping is and exactly how it works so that by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what this world is and how you can actually start your very own e-commerce business. Quick intro and let's go. What is dropshipping and how does it work? First things first, dropshipping is an online fulfillment method where you can sell products that you don't hold in stock. You're actually selling products from other suppliers and only once you get a sale, you can process the order from your supplier and ship it directly to the customer. It's the easiest type of business to start with very little to no risk. Also, there is no upfront costs. You're not investing anything in the beginning. Like I said, you only pay once you get paid and I will explain all that in depth soon. But what I'm trying to say is this is one of the best business models to start. If you want to start being an entrepreneur and see if this business model fits for you, then keep watching this video and understand exactly how everything works. But is dropshipping for you? I'm sure that that is the reason why you are watching this video and that is what you want to know. This image here explains the dropshipping business model quite well. Step one, your store. So a customer buys a product from your store. So you have an online store. We're going to talk about the different selling channels soon where you can sell your products on. But right now, say you have an online store, www.mystore.com. Customer enters your store and buys a product that you have. Now, of course, you're not holding this product in stock. You're simply listing it from a different supplier, which we will talk about soon. The second step is you are going to your supplier's website and you purchase the product. So forward the order details to the supplier and make a payment. So let's take it back real quick. Customer buys a product from your store for $150. Then you're going to your supplier's site and you're buying the product for $100, so $50 less. And you're shipping the product directly to your customer's address. So the supplier ships the product directly to the customer and you don't even touch the product. You don't even see the product. You are just a man in the middle making the sale between the supplier and sending it to the end customer. Then the rest of the profit is yours to be had. So if the customer paid $150 and you paid $100, you got $50 in the middle, so that is your profit minus the fees for selling on your marketplace and any other fees that you have in the middle. I will also cover those things too, so do not worry. But that is basically what the dropshipping business model is and how it works. Now let's dive a little bit deeper inside. We know that we can actually sell products without holding them in stock. We know that we don't have any upfront costs. We know that we don't have to pay for any inventory. So we just need to have an online store and we need to add products to that online store and we need to do a good job finding products that will sell because it's all about product research if we're not selling products that people want to buy then it doesn't matter where we're getting the products from and where we're selling it on if it's not interesting our customers are not going to buy it so product research is always on top of your list along with customer service for the long-term survivability of your stores but let's take it back one sec so we talked about the fact that dropshipping has a very low and easy entry barrier. Now let's understand where we can actually sell our products. So this is actually the marketplace that you are going to sell on. A marketplace is somewhere, a place online where you can list products and get customers to see that product, get potential viewers, potential buyers to see your products and actually go on and check out and buy them. So what marketplaces can we sell on? What are the best marketplaces for dropshipping? Let's start with one of the best and most used marketplaces for dropshipping, and that is eBay. For those who don't know, eBay started as an auction marketplace where people would just sell things that they have around the house and auction them. Sooner or later, sellers started also selling things that they have in stock. So stores, retail, physical stores started opening their online shops also on eBay. They list their products on eBay and when someone buys them, they simply ship it out to their address. So we moved from auction to buy it now listings. You simply have a price and you can buy it for that price like any other store. Then the dropshippers came along and this is a good almost 10 years ago, I believe. Dropshippers came along and dropshipping, just so you know, is a business model. It's nothing new. It's been around for more than 10 years and it's never ever going to go anywhere. If you've ever bought a product online before, you've probably bought from a dropshipper. So dropshippers started selling items on eBay by simply listing products that they don't have in stock. They're going to their suppliers websites, grabbing those products and adding it to their own eBay store. And like I mentioned, once the customers start buying the products from that store, the dropshippers simply go to their suppliers websites and buy the products and ship them to that customer that bought from their eBay store. Now, the best thing about eBay is that you're getting so much free organic traffic. eBay has millions and millions and millions of buyers 
going inside their platform every day and simply searching for what they want to buy. So when you list a listing, when you import a listing to your store, make sure that you are optimizing the product's title because this is how the buyers are going to get to your listing. And like I mentioned, the better work you do on product research, the more you test products and see what works, the more you'll start to understand what products are going to sell well. And eBay is a great marketplace to test that out on because like I mentioned, they're going to get so much free organic traffic to your store and you don't have to spend a dime on advertising and also creating your eBay store is absolutely free. So your first 50 listings are completely free and you can delete them and put other listings instead of them. As long as you don't pass your first 50 listings, it's absolutely free. So you can test the game out not have to spend a dime for it, test out the market, start learning what sells, and only once you start to sell and profit, only then will you start to get bigger stores where you can add more listings and use your profits to pay for that and continue growing from there. So when you start for free and you can test things for free, this is really one of the best ways to enter the market. And that is one of the things that I really truly highly recommend. Now, of course you can promote your listings and you can market your listings so that more and more people will see them inside eBay and out but using eBay's organic traffic is good enough to learn what products start to sell and start multiplying your success from there. So eBay is definitely one of the best marketplaces to start on. The downside is if you create a new account on eBay, you'll have a limit of up to 10 items or up to $500 in listings and in sales. This means that you have to start really, really slow and start with cheap items and slowly start to work your way up. When you start getting sales, eBay will automatically increase your limits. Now, I like to think of this as a good thing because it gives new sellers, the new inexperienced people who want to learn about this industry, it gives them the time to create their accounts and start really, really slowly. Only once they start to accumulate sales, import the right products, do the right product research, give some good customer service, your limits will start to increase slowly and surely until you get to the point where you can expand and scale your business really, really easily. It might take a couple of months to get to there. It will take some hard work, but without hard work, we won't be able to get anywhere. And once you start getting your hands dirty, you will learn that on the one hand, dropshipping is a passive income source, but on the other hand, it is not made for lazy people, at least in the first few months in the beginning. And then you can start to hire virtual assistants and have them run your business for you so that you can continue scaling it. But we will get to that soon. So we talked about eBay being one of the best marketplaces to dropship on today because they can have so much free organic traffic. Now you can also use promoted listings. You can promote your listings in several ways, but the organic traffic is really, really enough. You just have to break the barrier of the seller limits in the beginning if you're creating a new seller account but many people are doing it every day and it's no problem. I've done it for a few stores at the least. Now there is so much more to it when it comes to dropshipping on eBay. So if this is the marketplace that you want to dropship on, I highly recommend to check out our ebook section. I'll leave a link to it right below this video. We have an ebook there 100% for free, the beginner's guide on dropshipping to eBay. So as you see here, it's absolutely free. Here's all of the chapters that you have. You have everything from creating your store, to configuring your eBay account, how to find your first products to sell, how to list your products, inventory optimization. Let me give you a quick glance. So as you see, this is the PDF. We have 172 pages here. So if I just scroll down a little bit, you can see that the chapters start right here. So you start with the easy things. What is dropshipping? What are the requirements? And slowly but surely, we take you step by step on how to create your account, find your products to sell, start selling them, handle customer service, issue out your orders and so much more. So check out this PDF. Like I said, it's 100% free, 172 pages of pure content from dropshippers to new dropshippers such as yourselves. The second marketplace for you guys to dropship on is Shopify. So for those of you who don't want the limits of eBay, you want to be completely free. You want to be completely customizable for how your store looks, how your store operates, and to the amount of limits that you can actually list. Because on Shopify, there are no limits. You can simply create your Shopify account and import thousands and thousands of listings at once if that is what you want. So nobody's telling you, hey, you can list up to 10 items and up to $500 for your first month and see how it goes from there. Here, you can do pretty much anything you want. But on the downside, nobody's bringing free traffic to your store. Here on Shopify, you'll have your own domain name, your own www.whateveriwantmystoretobe.com. Everything will be paid for. So you'll have to pay for your domain name. You'll have to pay Shopify for the hosting and you'll have to pay all kinds of Shopify apps to help you optimize your products and your store. And of course, you'll have to pay traffic sources to bring traffic to your store. So you can do it through Facebook ads, through Google ads, through influence marketing. 
There are many ways to bring traffic to your store, but it's going to cost you back. It's going to set you back a few bucks. That is what it's all about on Shopify. So like I said, on the one hand, you're getting your own website. You can customize it whatever way you want. On the other hand, there are much more expenses when starting a Shopify store. So if you have experience in dropshipping, Shopify is a good place to start. If you don't have experience, it's also a place where you can start, but you will have to learn very carefully and really take it step by step. Also remember that there is no right or wrong answer here. Some people start with eBay, some people start with Shopify, some people don't succeed when they start and when they switch to a different platform they do find success and some do succeed on the first platform that they try. So for those of you who don't want to be limited right from the start, you want full customizability, Shopify dropshipping is the way for you, but you will have to start with a budget and you will have to put your butt down and learn. Not that you don't have to in other marketplaces, but this one requires a harder learning curve in the beginning. And of course, that does not mean that it's not possible. It really depends on you and the knowledge and tools that you acquired before you started creating your first accounts. For that, we have a free Shopify course, 100% free, full transparency. All you need to do is go to the page. I will leave a link right below this video. As you see here, the course is taught by me. And there is no prior knowledge required whatsoever when you finish this course. You will not only set up your Shopify store, your domain name, and have the best dropshipping products inside, but you'll also know how to market them using Facebook ads. So let me show you the syllabus really, really quick. Here you have a quick introduction, and then you'll learn how to find the best dropshipping products to sell. Right after that, you'll start setting up your first Shopify store. So you'll be naming your business, connecting your domain names, creating logos, creating a professional homepage, store policies, legal pages, all of the things that you'll need to get started. Then you'll get an introduction to online marketing and then we'll dive straight down into Facebook ads, how to set up your Facebook page, create your ads account, install the pixel, audience research, setting up your campaign goals, ad sets and everything else until you get to the launch. Then you'll also learn how to analyze your ads, fulfill your orders, manage returns and refunds, and then at the end you'll have a small little bonus lesson. So almost 40 videos in a full free Shopify course for anyone who wants to take it down this road. Now for me personally, I'm dropshipping both on eBay, Shopify, and one more marketplace called the Facebook Marketplace. And this is the last marketplace that I wanna to talk to you guys about. The Facebook Marketplace is relatively new, and this is one of the best marketplaces to dropship on today. That is because you really don't need to have any experience in dropshipping, not on eBay and not on Shopify if you want to succeed on the Facebook Marketplace. And the Facebook Marketplace is completely untapped at this point while I'm recording this video. So there is no competition on the Facebook Marketplace and anyone with a Facebook account who lives in the US can start dropshipping on the Facebook Marketplace right away. On our blog page and also on our YouTube channel, we have a full overview of how to dropship on the Facebook Marketplace how to find the right products to sell, how to import them to your Facebook Marketplace store, and also how to add in automation. Now, we haven't spoken about automation yet, but business automation is the way to go if you want to be able to scale your dropshipping stores correctly and really make it to the high numbers at the end of the month. And what do I mean when I say automation? I mean adding things like price monitoring, stock monitoring. So if the price or the stock ever changes on your supplier's websites for products that you have in your store, then the price and the stock will also change accordingly on your store too, without your intervention. So you don't need to do anything for this automation to happen. So this way you won't be selling products that are out of stock and then you'll have problems with your customers and you won't be selling products without profiting anything or with losing money because you didn't notice that the price changed on your supplier's website. And business automation is so much more like automatic order fulfillment, hiring virtual assistants to run your store, importing products in just one click, and importing tens to hundreds to even thousands of products to your store in just a couple of clicks and just a couple of minutes. So saving time, that is what business automation is all about and also giving you the ability to really scale your business and make it to numbers where you can really quit your nine to five. I am not selling you any dreams, Many dropshippers are living this way and you can too if this is the business model that you enjoy. So as I mentioned on our blog page, you have a full guide of how you can start dropshipping and profiting on the Facebook marketplace and also on our YouTube channel. And soon I will also start adding a live Facebook marketplace case study where you can see my Facebook dropshipping account, what products I'm selling, where I'm getting them from, and you can already see them on the blog that I showed you right here and also on our YouTube channel and soon there will be more. So this is a brand new thing 
and it's working really well for us and I've seen how well it's also working for others. So this is another wonderful marketplace to start dropshipping on. It's newer than eBay, it's newer than Shopify and getting orders here is actually much, much easier than those platforms. And once again, there is no upfront costs here either. It doesn't cost money to have a Facebook account, doesn't cost money to start listing products on the Facebook marketplace. Facebook will only take a 5% transaction fee on every sale that you make and only after you make that sale. Making the Facebook marketplace one of the most recommended marketplaces to sell on today, especially with all of the free organic traffic all of the people that will see your listings and buy them and you really didn't have to do much besides import products to your store and just import good products that you know that they will sell. Now, we talked about the three most recommended marketplaces to sell on today, eBay, Shopify, and Facebook Marketplace. Now let's talk about business automation, what I just started talking about a couple minutes ago. So I mentioned why we want to add business automation to our stores. Here is AutoDS. This will help you automate your business and this is the only software that you will need for your dropshipping business. It is an all-in-one platform that really does it all. Let me show you really quick what we have here. So this is the main business overview where you can see what's going on with your business and you can add as many stores as you want. So what AutoDS is doing is it's taking the marketplaces that you wanna sell on. So you wanna sell on eBay, Shopify, Facebook, Wix, Amazon, and more coming soon. So you can sell on these marketplaces and what do you want to sell on these marketplaces? Well, you have to grab products from suppliers. So now AutoDS has over 25 dropshipping suppliers that you can dropship from. So you can simply grab products from any one of those suppliers and start adding them to your store on AutoDS. Let me show you an example. So here on the top left side, we have the stores. So if I click there, you see that I have here three eBay stores, three Shopify stores, and one Facebook store. I can add more stores by simply clicking on add store and here I can choose what marketplace I want to sell on and like I said soon we're going to have more marketplaces like Amazon, Wix and more and more coming up. So these are the places where I can actually sell my products on and I can grab products from any one of our supported suppliers. So as you see here we have the suppliers that AutoDS supports today and all of these different regions. So I can simply go to any one of these suppliers websites like we see I have here Amazon. So let's head to Amazon. So I can grab any product that I want from here and add it to any one of these marketplace stores. Once you start adding products to your stores, you can simply click on products here on the left side, see what stores you wanna select. So the products for which stores I wanna see. So since I have all six stores selected, I will see all of the products that I have in all six of those stores. This way you can really see a full overview of what's going on in your business and you can check which stores you want to see all in one page. You can see one store, some stores, multiple stores, all stores, or no stores. So here we can see the products and I can simply click on one of them if I want to open up the item editor. And as you see here, I can optimize the product's title, collections, tags, item locations, shipping methods. If I want to monitor the stocks, the prices, auto ordering, and so forth, I can edit the product's description, the variations that it has inside the images, the prices, item specifications, and so forth. Everything is being automated when you simply choose a product from your supplier and import it easily to your AutoDS store and import it easily to the AutoDS platform and to your dropshipping stores. We have many tutorials on our websites on every little feature, every little setting that you have here on AutoDS so you can learn everything from there. You also have the drafts page where you can work on your products and optimize them before importing them to the products page of your store and having them go live. People can actually start buying them and once people start start buying them, you start getting orders on your store. Here you have the orders page. So here you can see all of your orders. And like I mentioned, you can automate 100% all of your orders. So you won't have to log into your supplier's websites, buy the product each time, fill in the customer's address. And once you start hitting 10, 15, 20, 50 plus orders per day, you will definitely understand the need for order automation, which means AutoDS simply fulfills your orders for you and also automates adding the tracking numbers. Once tracking information is available from your suppliers, it will add it to the system and also add it to your marketplace store. So it makes things much, much easier. And on eBay, you have automatic messages to your buyers, so it will easily get you much better feedback and your customers will really appreciate getting this kind of service. And you also have the customer support page where here you can have all of your customers' messages all in one place and answer all of them handle your returns and your cases and so much other things from the customer support page. In this case, it's only a demo, so I don't have anything to demonstrate, but you have all of the examples, like I mentioned, on our help page, on our website, 
on our YouTube channel. I will leave all of the relevant links that you need, like I mentioned right below this video. The last thing that I wanna mention here is hiring a virtual assistant to help you run your dropshipping business. Now, this is not something that you wanna do right in the beginning because you wanna know, you want to learn every step of the way how to handle, manage, and run your own profitable dropshipping business before hiring an employee to come and do it for you. But once you are ready for that, what you wanna do is head on AutoDS to the settings page, and on the users, you want to add your first virtual assistant. So here you see that I have a user called Frank and his privileges. I can tell the system exactly what I want Frank to control. So here, for example, I'm letting him end my active products or my untracked products, view my dashboard, view or import my untracked listings, view and edit my orders, settings, drafts, and so forth. And here I can edit exactly what I want Frank to have and not have what stores I want him to be able to control. So some, none, multiple, all of them, none of them, and what privileges I want him to have inside. And I can continue adding more and more virtual assistants right here. So all I need to do is fill in the text boxes, what privileges I want the virtual assistant to have, and then I'll have a new virtual assistant account. Then I just need to simply give them the email address and the password for the virtual assistant user, and they will be able to log into AutoDS and start managing my own store, adding products, doing my product research for me, handling my orders, handling my customer service. And once you'll have a virtual assistant running your successful and profitable dropshipping store, you will understand how scalable this business is and how much you can really profit as a passive income source once you put in the time to learn and once you put in the time to work. I hope that this video helped you guys understand at least the basic concept of what dropshipping is, how it works, and how we can utilize business automation to help us scale our dropshipping businesses and really make it to high numbers that we never thought before was possible to make just from a computer and an internet connection. As mentioned, all you need is the will to learn, the right tools and knowledge which we can provide to you absolutely for free as explained also in this video to really help you guys take that first step, launch your dropshipping business, and scale your way to success from there. Don't forget to like this video if you appreciate the content, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world. Thank you for watching, good luck with dropshipping, and I'll see you in the future videos.